You know, Scott Dorval's a really smart guy. Yes, he is. But we felt that we needed to send him back to school today. <laughs> <laughs> right. Taking on the kids in what grade? <laughs> second grade. Second grade. That's Ooh, right. I it, might, I might, I don't know. The second graders might have it on you. <laughs> they have great questions in second they grade. Do. They're very curious about weather. And so they start thinking about it and ask these questions. So I've got a weather question from somebody in set, from Centennial Elementary School in Napa. Here's tonight's weather question from our weather whiz kid. I'm Dakota Thompson, and I go to Centennial, and this is my weather question. How big can hail get? Well, there you go. How big can hail get? So that's a great question because hail is a big deal. We haven't seen much hail around southwest Idaho uh, this season, and we may not see much more since the season's kind of winding down. But what I figured I'd do is I would dig up in the record books and find out how large was the largest hailstone ever recorded uh, in the United States. So we're going to take a look at those numbers right here. This is our guesses. So Roland and Michelle, since you are always the guinea pigs here, uh, we're going to ask you. What do you think? Five inches wide, six inches wide, seven inches wide, eight inches wide? I think eight inches wide. We go six. Okay, well, the correct answer is oh, <laughs> right, <laughs> right in the middle. <laughs> Seven inches wide, and this was in Aurora, Nebraska, June 22nd, uh, 2003. This is about 18 inches around, almost the size of a soccer ball. Michelle, uh, cannon soccer ball, the smaller ones there. <laughs> yeah. That's how big this hailstone was, though. So oh that is a huge, goodness. huge hailstone. So there's an answer to our weather question and where do these hailstones form. They can form in the summertime, or they form in the summertime, and the reason being is that it's still cold aloft. That's the key. You get huge updrafts that come into the storm system and this colder aloft brings all that moisture up that rain gets pushed up it freezes as hailstone then kind of travels around the cloud getting layers and layers if you cut a hailstone in half it looks like tree rings as it's getting layers and layers and layers and getting bigger the stronger the updraft the stronger the storm you can hold up bigger hailstones eventually no updraft will hold it it comes crashing down and so when you get big hail like that you've got one of the biggest strongest storms around great question if you've got any questions or photos you can send them to me at weather at fox 9 now dot com. You know wow. what's fun is that we all have second grade sons. So yes. yep. all That's three right. of us right. can relate right. to those types of questions great right question. now. They are great. Great question. Sweat, I'm telling you. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. <laughs> well the iPhone 5